Okay, problems with installing Office Starter Edition that gives you Word and Excel on Windows 7. Uh, it was made for Windows 7 and it works on Vista. However, there is problems with installing it on Windows 8. Uh, obviously, you can see here I've got it installed. If I can get it in focus, there you go. So, all installed and working. Let's click on one of those. Um, so, how did I manage to get that working? Um, first of all, you need to download the Office Start Edition. Again, this is completely free, and I will supply lo links in the uh, in the uh, description. Uh, I've just done a search on Google, Office Start 2010, and then you know, so pick pick one of the ones, the one that I recommend, uh, or the one that I use. Uh, if I can find it, is the let's do a search. To start 2010. I can't even find the one I used, but I'll put the link in there in the description anyway. So I've downloaded it and I've got it there. It's the setup consumer, and there's also talk about a an update which I didn't need to use from Microsoft, um, which I'll put the link in anyway. I didn't need to use this, um, and, and basically that's enough update for the office. Uh, I didn't need to use it and I've downloaded that as well okay so I'll put that link in anyway if any of you need to use it so there's my downloads uh, first of all what you need to do is uh, right click on the setup like so and, and then follow it follow down to you get to properties and then what you want to do is go into compatibility and change it uh, to run in Windows 7 compatibility mode and also take it to run in the administrator and then press OK, OK, and then right-click on it, and I was run as uh, administrator. That should run through and install. You do have to be connected to the internet while you do that install, so because it, it grabs the files online, uh, and then that will give you Word and Excel for free on Windows 8. Okay. Like this video uh, if I've helped you. Thanks.